So there's a few uh, Great Eastern cutlery patterns that I really love. Um, the, well, obviously the 15, but that one's a lot harder to get. You know, the 15 TC Barlow, the 81 Muskrat. Um, I'm trying to think the 97. I love the 97. I know that's a controversial opinion to have. Uh, and the 38 Special. So what I do when I find a Great Eastern Cutlery pattern that I really love, um, you know, I try to find backups for a reasonable amount of money. Um, so like I have three 97s. I have two 81 uh, Muskrats, if I don't count the one that my girlfriend has because that's her knife. Um, I have two 81 muskrats in different cover materials. One is a backup to my uh, coffee house acrylic muskrat. I have three 97s. Um, I have now have three 38 specials. I have the green tractor bone, which is the one that I carry typically. Um, and then I have a stag one, which has never been used. It's still in the tube, all covered in oil and everything, keeping it nice and safe um, to have as a backup. And then recently, uh, I came across somebody offering up a Indian paintbrush 38 special for a reasonable price, um, which is unusual. So I decided to jump on that. Now it is a user, as you'd be able to tell by the little bit of patina on the blade. This is a Northfield in satin, by the way, which is really cool. I wish they would have kept doing that because uh, I do not like high polished blades because it makes doing this right here really hard because the light's reflecting off of the blade and it's super difficult to get um, thumbnail pictures and videos and all sorts of stuff. Um, so I wish, you know, they would do more um, satin finish Northfields. Uh, that's also really why I like uh, Titty Ute knives because they're less high polished and everything. And one of the big problems I have with Rough Riders is because they're also highly polished and hard to take pictures and videos of. And it's awful for somebody like me who's trying to do stuff like this. Um, if you're just somebody looking to have a fancy knife, I guess you want it to be highly polished. I don't really care for it, honestly. Um, but, <laughs> but anyway, this is a satin Northfield, which is interesting. Um, 38 Special in Indian Paintbrush. Now, I believe... There's a plant called an Indian paintbrush plant that's about this color. And I believe that's why this uh, cover material is called that. Um, but yeah, the jigging on this is pretty good looking. The bone is red as opposed to my green tractor bone one. Um, I guess I have a Christmas set of 38 specials now. I have a green and a red one. Um, I always did really like the uh, Northfield Unexcelled Shield just because it looks, you know, it looks nice. Um, but yeah, this is somebody's uh, user 38 special. As you can tell by the uh, bolster, bolster wear, the pocket wear on the bolsters, I guess I'll call it, and the uh, patina on the blade. Uh, this one's got pretty good action. Uh, it's got a little bit of patina on the blade there. I don't know. I think the best way to show it is going to be just to lay it down. So you can see there's a little bit of uh, staining on the blade, nothing major. Um, and yeah, just some little bit of wear. It does have some blade play. It actually has quite a bit of blade play, which is unusual for Great Eastern Cutlery. Like, I've gotten Great Eastern Cutlery and I was with blade play, but usually not a lot. Now, it, you know, it's hard to show, but I can feel it, and it's quite significant. So I'll probably try to fix that, because that's what I do with blade play. Um, the guy was up front about that. He did mention that it had blade play. Uh, I just wanted to have another 38 special, so I didn't really care that much. Um, and I figured the opportunity to have a uh, 38 special in another handle material would be cool. Um, but yeah, so I know a lot of people didn't really care for these 38 specials. They sh sat on shelves forever. That's how I got the green tractor bone one to begin with and then fell in love with the 38 special. And I should have just bought another one of them when, when I had the chance to buy one new. But at the point, at the time, I was, you know, I didn't realize that the market was going to explode and I wasn't going to be able to ever buy a Great Eastern Cutlery knife for less than $100 ever again. Um, if I would have known that, I would have bought one, bought another one, but I didn't know that. I have similar uh, regrets for the 97 and the uh, 15 Huckleberry's Boys knife with the chain because I wanted one of those in ebony and I waited too long. 
to get one and now I can't get one. <laughs> so um, when I see knives that I really like uh, come up for reasonable prices and I already have the knife, but I want to have a backup in case I lose it or it breaks or I sharpen it too much, which I mean, these might all sound like crazy things to say, but you know, I got to justify it somehow. Uh, but I think I was, I never think it's a bad idea to have a backup of a knife you really like um, because, you know, something could happen and, you know, something could happen to that knife. You could lose it. It could break. You could sharpen it too much and it needs to be retired. Um, so, you know, I think it's, don't think it's necessarily a bad idea to have a backup to a knife that you really like. And that's kind of what I've started doing with the Great Eastern Cutlery patterns that I really like. Um, when it's easy to do so, like with the 97s and these 38 specials, you know, they're not highly coveted knives, although the 97s now are selling for um, crazy money when you look at the fact that they sat on shelves for like three years. Uh, the 38 specials are a little bit more reasonable. Um, and you can't get a 15 Huckleberry boys knife for any kind of reasonable price, unfortunately. I should have picked up that ebony one when I had the chance. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about that. Um, but this is a really nice knife. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I have I think I've done a review on the 38 Special Pattern, like an actual real review back when I used to do knife reviews and not buy too many knives to the fact that I can't do knife reviews anymore. Although, knife reviews might be coming back. Um, on some knives that I have carried a lot just because, I don't know, I feel like certain knives I've carried a whole bunch and I can certainly review them. Um, I don't know how available they are. That's always been the other problem with doing knife reviews. Like, I don't feel like there's much of a reason to do knife reviews on Great Eastern Cutlery knives because you cannot buy them new. You have to pay secondary market prices for them, which at times can be crazy. Um, now occasionally you find a reasonable one like, uh, this, but this one's, you know, has been used. It did come with the tube, so I'm happy about that. I do like to have tubes for my Great Eastern Cutlery Knives because I do use them and cut with them and carry them and stuff. But I still like to have the tube for them just in case I ever decide I want to get rid of a knife. I have the tube for it and, you know, people will enjoy a knife with the tube or the box more than they will without it. Plus it gives you something to ship it in. Um, well, inside of another box, probably, but you know, it's less wrapping the entire knife in bubble wrap and more, um, putting the knife in the box and then wrapping the box with bubble wrap or whatever, and putting it into a bigger box, like some sort of Russian doll situation. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the, um, Northfield in satin, which is cool. I wish they would make more Northfield knives and satin because I really like the unexcelled shield and I like the Northfield stamp and all that because it's cool. You know, Northfield unexcelled. Very cool. Um, but, you know, they don't do that too much anymore. Now Northfield's more of a high polish, higher end uh, cover material or handle material. A higher end knife, if you will. And usually it's, you know, $10, $15 more than the titty version, depending on what it is. If it's stag, it's more than that but you know for just your regular like jig bone versions it's usually slightly more than the titty ute whereas somebody like me would rather have a titty ute version because i like to use the knife so the titty ute version uh, shows scratches less doesn't reflect light like an insane uh, mirror um, which i appreciate when i'm trying to take pictures or do videos for youtube um but yeah i wish great eastern cutlery would do more satin northfield knives um, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about random stuff like Russian dolls and, you know, whatever else, how I wish more knives were set and finished. Um, this is the Great Eastern Cutlery 38 Special in um, Indian brush jig bone. Um, if you can hear that alarm, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that alarm or not. Um, I live pretty close to a storage unit center where my storage unit actually is. And they have this crazy loud alarm for their uh, sliding fence because it crosses a walking path. So when it opens, it sets off this crazy alarm. You probably can't even hear what I'm talking about right now. And you think I'm insane, um, but 
This is the Northfield uh, Greatest Recovery 38 Special in Indian Brush Jig Bone, and I uh, like it quite a bit. The only problem with this one is the uh, blade play, but I can probably fix that fairly easily. And I don't mind that it's a user because at some point that's my plan for it as well. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a good day.